What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, you guys, what we have in store for you all, as you guys see as the title on the thumbnail, we're gonna teach you how to collect tortoise eggs. Uh, I don't think I've seen this on YouTube before, but we're gonna show you today on YouTube. And what we're gonna do, it's not YouTube, it's the ranch fam. So the ranch fam, what we're gonna show you guys is we're gonna collect some tortoise eggs. Over here right now, we have some giant African spur thigh tortoises, so called a tortoise, the third largest tortoise in the world. And I have a female right now that is laying eggs. Well, she's not laying yet, she's in the process of laying eggs. So we're gonna walk over there right now, but the reason why I don't wanna go over there in this second, because if we get over there, we're gonna get freaking bombarded by donkeys, emus, goats, and cows. And if we do that, then the tortoise might stop laying eggs and then that's not gonna be the best thing. But they are used to all the animals because as you guys see on my Instagram, if you're following me there at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, you guys see on my stories, I'm always posting, feeding these guys and feeding all the animals here on the ranch and you can see all the animals that can join together and they're all happily ever after eating together too. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys before we head over there is you guys see this giant beautiful cactus tree right here or cactus bush or whatever you want to call it. It will be available on the website uh, on blakesexoticanimalranch.com. So we're going to start selling some of this cactus and have it available to get shipped anywhere in the United States for you guys to feed to your tortoises or if you want to grow it as well. So just check the website. So follow me you guys and we're going to head over here and I like I've said in many videos before. We, uh, we walk around the ranch many, many times a day because I have hundreds and hundreds of tortoises that live here on the ranch. And with having hundreds of tortoises, just every single day we have one at least laying eggs, especially at this time of the year, spring and the end of winter. So right here in the far corner over there, we have a beautiful female Sokata tortoise. We're gonna go over there right now and you're gonna see her laying eggs. So let's go over there. Well, she's probably not laying yet. She's probably just starting to make her egg chamber. And this is a spot that she puts all her eggs. It's like a big giant tunnel where she uses her back legs back and forth back and forth and drops all those eggs and deposits them all in place so follow me let's head, enter in there really quickly because if you look down low right here that right there that's jerry that could be the father of some of these tortoises right behind your body get bit cassandra by max and a big california girl big big giant so called tortoises we got benny we got a beautiful white emu and over here in this far corner we have this gorgeous 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 so called a tortoise laying egg. So you go on that side, I'm gonna go on this side and let's check her out. She is really digging right now. She has a beautiful chamber she's placing right now. And as you can see, she's starting to deposit some fluids and some liquids to get the ground ready to go to deposit her eggs. Look how perfect she is. She's using those back legs, back and forth, back and forth, very slowly to make sure it is supposed to be where it's supposed to be. And yeah, so this could, Possibly a process. She's been laying now for or making her nest now. <clears throat> I would say we're about 45 minutes. She probably still has another two to three hours before anything. And we're gonna back away now because if we don't back away, Moors and everybody's gonna come over here and start maybe bothering her. So we're just gonna let her be. We're gonna feed the animals somewhere else so that we don't have any issues with them bothering her. As you can see, Moors is coming and she's like, yo. I want to get fed. Tortoises will hear me talking. They're like, yo, I want to get fed. Everybody wants to eat all the time. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a container, go get some vermiculite, what I like to place the eggs in so we can put them in the incubator and start placing them to get ready and get set. I'm doing all this, but when we collect eggs sometimes, they can do this whole entire process, right? And then just stop because something happened. The temperature, the sky, it could rain, a cow, anything. Something could just stop her completely and then she might not even lay eggs and then she'll do the whole entire process over again. So hopefully, Make sure you guys pray inside the comments right now. Make sure everything is good that she does lay inside of this, uh, the spot that she does. And Moors recently has been playing a real uh, tough game recently. Uh, really wanted to play rough, but you be good girl, Moors. All right, girl. It's okay. You okay, good girl. You still good girl. So this is a very, very large cow. She's probably one of the most dangerous animals I have here on the ranch, not going to lie. And she really wants to start pushing around. And watch out, Moors. You be good girl. Leave everybody alone. So we're going to get out of this enclosure and uh, start setting up a container so we can get these eggs ready. All right, so this year has been really, really well of collecting eggs left and right, left and right. We've been collecting red foot eggs. We're about 200 eggs in on collecting tortoise eggs on the red foots at least. So make sure you guys are checking out the website, seeing what's available right now. Uh, but the Sulcatas, the female that's laying right now, this is actually her fourth clutch this year. She's absolutely killing the game on tortoise eggs right now. But uh, we got tortoise right here. So this is pretty much how I set them up. Simple, easy, not hard at all, as you can see. So we're gonna back up just a little bit, and uh, we have a brand new container right there, and we have a nice bag of vermiculite. We're gonna set it up, fill it up with some of this, so we have some nice substrate for these eggs to hatch in and lay in and all that stuff. 
So there we go. That's good right there. And we're gonna shake it around. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much what I do right there. So my eggs are ready to go. I know a lot of people like to have the eggs off the ground, like on these other containers. I actually have that set up over there, but I haven't used it yet. I'm just gonna stay with my like my bread and butter and like what I know really, really well at and what I'm confident at. So this is what it is. I don't want to like mess up on anything. If I was having a insane year on Sokata eggs, then I would start experimenting on other things, but it hasn't been the craziest. So that's why I don't want to like try something new right now. So I'm gonna stick to what I know what's best for me. And this is what's best for me right now. The vermiculite in a container, no top, perfect, ready to go. I like to spray them once the eggs are in place. I clean my eggs. Some people like to keep all of that natural stuff on the egg so that they are like uh, strong and healthy. But personally, I always clean the egg as well. So what we have to do now is just wait for her to finish laying and then we're gonna go and collect all the eggs. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so it's been about a half hour now and I had to run a couple little errands. So I came over to check it out and she is completely covering that nest up. It can mean two things. One, she laid the eggs and she's covering the nest, what they're supposed to do. Two, it was just a test hole and she's just covering up the hole and acting like she laid eggs, but there's no eggs at all. So you and me, we're both, are gonna figure this out right now together as the ranch fam to see if she laid any eggs. Put it down in the comments if she did lay any eggs. How many eggs do you think are inside of this nest right now? Uh, we're gonna check it out. She's burying it up right now. Uh, it was a nice, nice hole. The tortoises are all coming again. But uh, we're gonna move it out of the way real quick, dig it up, and see if we find anything. All right, Missy. So uh, let's see if you have anything here for us. Move out of my way for a second. Okay, right there, thank you. So let's see if we have anything. And I don't know, because it wasn't that far down. No, it was. It was? Yeah. I just, I checked from right here, like that. Okay, there we are, you guys. So Cassandra did check over here, but she didn't check too, too well. And as you guys can see, we got eggs. So she buried them quickly and fast, but she made a decent sized egg chamber, so she didn't crush any eggs. When it's one of my really, really large female cicadas, I like to make sure I catch every single egg because if you don't, then what happens is they uh, will crush the eggs with the rocks. Like look at that, look at her throwing the rocks back inside of them. So right here, you have apples? All right, you can just throw them out that way so the animals stay away. So we're at one egg right now, you guys, and put it down in the comments. How many eggs do you think we were able to find right now? So let's do it. Let's start digging them up. All right, so you gotta be really, really gentle. It's almost like finding a dinosaur egg. It's really, really cool. Some of my favorite parts of the job here on the ranch is collecting eggs. It's really, really fascinating and an awesome experience. All right, so be really careful. And all the work that she just, hey, move out of the way. Don't eat my eggs. Look at that. And down in there, we got more eggs, so here we go. We're at two right now. Okay. And like I said, if you didn't pay attention, you didn't know where she laid this, you would have no flipping idea where she would place these guys because they hide them so, so, so well. So that's three right there. We're at four right there. We're at five. You guys put it down in the comments how many we're gonna have. Hey, 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 hey. Don't eat my eggs. One peck of emu peck, and that egg's gonna be scrambled. Mister, go over there. We're at six, we're at seven. We're putting my eggs over here. All right, oh Lord. We're at eight right now. Okay, we're at nine, see how dirty they are? Don't like that at all. I wanna clean them all up, make sure they're good. Eight. This is definitely a small clutch, but like I said, this is probably her last clutch because this is her fourth nesting clutch of this year of 2021, which is pretty cool. There we are. Well, we're doing pretty good. All right, so I kind of lost count already. So if you guys are counting, put it down in the comments. How many have you already had? We're still going. There's a good amount still in there. Oh yeah, there's still a good amount that's stuck in there. Look how big of a hole she's made. She deposited these eggs very, very quickly that I was gone for about 30 minutes. My sister even checked too, and 
she was already putting them down in there. So it's really dope. It's a nice size egg. Ping pong balls is what they look like. And if you guys aren't interested in these guys, once they hatch, they will be available on my website at BlakesExoticAnimalRanch.com. But again, you guys, this side? Yeah. There's like four. For real? Not like two, maybe. Just pack them in there. Good, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's like four. That's so cool how good they pack them in there, huh, you guys? But yeah, guys, remember, these tortoises do get very large, so make sure you're able to take care of these guys for your whole entire life. And on top of that, they get really big, so you gotta make sure you have somewhere to keep these guys. Yo, 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 buddy, buddy. Oh my God. Dealing with animals sometimes, you know, with these kind of guys, the, the male dudes, he just peed all over my hand. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You see any more on that side, you guys? Okay. Make sure we don't have any more left in here. And that is it, you guys. We got a full, nice, beautiful clutch right there. Giant egg chamber. She's still over there digging all around, trying to act like she's hiding her nest. So what I'm gonna do right now is get all this dirt, place it all in there, all in there. Help her out a lot. So she's back to where she was before. There you go. And she's still in a little transit right now that she thinks she's still digging and hiding her nest. So what we're gonna do is collect, grab her, put her right there in the spot. She'll make it perfect and look like it never had a nest there before. So there we go. We got a nice, beautiful clutch of eggs right there. And check that out. We're gonna clean them all up and then show the rest of the process of collecting our tortoise eggs and putting them inside the incubator. So I'll see you guys in the house. All right, so we're getting out of here and uh, the tortoises are all here eating. Everyone's doing good. And as you guys can see, more baby tortoises are in the making already. We have Max right here. All right, Max, move out my way, bro. Cassandra, go ahead. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, good guard moors. And let's go clean the eggs one more time, like I just said. All right, you guys. So we just cleaned out all the eggs. They're right here, they're ready to go. And as you can see, those are all the eggs right here. These are ping pong balls. My dad is sitting on the couch. I'm gonna tell him, yo, think fast. I'm gonna throw him some ping pong balls and say they're eggs. So let's get his reaction real quick. Obviously they're ping pong balls, not eggs. So, but they look exactly the same. And with him just sitting on the couch, he's gonna be like, it's gonna be funny, so let's do it. Yo, got these eggs. <laughs> 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 you guys get it for a second. <laughs> Alright, so let's take these eggs to the incubator and uh, let's go set them up. So we had 23 eggs. This was an older clutch, but we just added another five more eggs into place there. Where did I have these guys? I had them right here. So those are going to get placed right there. And then the last group of the rest of them right here is going to get placed all the way down over here. But before we do that, we got my spray bottle. Spray them all up. And that is it. We'll call it a day. So make sure you guys just check that website. Always be ready because when those hatch, a lot of other ones will be hatching right behind them. So they'll be ready to be on the website and to go to your brand new homes when they're ready. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the ranch. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel because we're just about a million subscribers. And um, I really, really appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.